So with the still unnamed EG Hatch projects that we have going on right now, it is really starting to come together for the whole battle attack. Look, we got the side skirts going. We just did the CTR, I mean ITR, five lug conversions with the bigger brakes and that's all upgraded. We also got the ITR wheels. And this one, this is where it's really gonna come together. This one, we're going with the Big Wang Gang. And now, you're watching if Andrew Yang got a Big Wang, would he then be part of the Big Wang Gang Gang? channel of YouTube. Welcome to Bodhi Vision. Hey, so what is up and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on yet another video. So today, like I said, like you see in the title, like you see in the thumbnail, we are joining the Big Wang Gang. And the Big Wang is right here. This monstrous wing. I don't know exactly what size it is from there to there. It is definitely gonna stick out on both ends. I think it's gonna look really good to go along with this track theme that this car has taken. And then these are all the parts. I have them all laid out. And this is again, this is a PCI wing. And in order to run this wing, we gotta run the stock wing because the spoon wing sticks out too far and the brackets would hit it. And if I wanted to try to modify it to make it work, the spoon wing would have to be slit back really far, meaning this piece, would have to run through it by at least like four or five inches. I thought about it. I was gonna try to make the spoon wing work with this because I have never seen that done before, but there's a reason why I haven't seen it done before because it wouldn't really look that good. And also, before we get started on building this big wang, what I wanna do, I just got this in the mail the other day. Some nice red simple lug nuts that are gonna look really good on here. So I'm gonna get those. So I'm gonna get those thrown on and then we'll turn our attention to getting this big wang gang. So that definitely looks a little better. Nothing too crazy, but it does. It just gives it a little flair. And those lug nuts, they're just some um, entry level. Nothing too crazy. I really always recommend going with the metal or steel lug nuts. I hate the aluminum lug nuts. They get stripped out. And if you're gonna cut weight, don't do it on the lug nuts. So anyways, those look good. The lug nuts are behind us. Now let's get into the meat and potatoes. We got the brackets, we got the wing. The first thing that I gotta do is I gotta get this stock wing thrown on and the way that this is thrown on, if you can see right here, one, two, three, four. Those just need four 10 millimeter acorn nuts. I don't know if I have acorn nuts, but I definitely have regular nuts and those will be just fine for right now. So I'm gonna get the stock wing thrown on and then we'll get focused on figuring out exactly how these brackets go. These are the little end plates, they go on and somehow we'll see we'll see when we get there the thing is we got to get it built then we got to place it make sure it's centered and take our time make sure it looks really good and before we can do any of that like i was just saying i'm going to get the stock wing thrown on and then we'll go from there So right now it looks a little bit weird, but that's just how things are gonna be going for this car. I know I've said it a whole bunch of times. This phase is the mock-up phase. We're getting everything thrown on, then everything is gonna get thrown apart for paint and that'll come real soon. But one thing that I'm getting worried about, I don't know if you can see any or I don't know if you can tell at all, but right now we got love bugs coming back. And love bugs around here are always an epidemic. They put me out of business when it comes to painting for at least a month and a half. When the love bugs are as bad as they get, I cannot paint because the bugs will get in the paint and it's just kind of a travesty, but it's just something that I gotta work around. So me doing this car right now with all this fabrication and mock-up and everything that it's gonna take, I can still do body work, I can still sand, I can do all of that stuff, but I cannot paint until probably a little bit till after October 31st, after Halloween. Maybe that's when the bugs go away, but either way, we just gotta keep moving, gotta keep working. So here's the stock wing. Looks just like a stock wing would look like on a stock EG hatch. And now, now's the time I gotta read. I gotta look at these directions. This is all I got. I'm just gonna kind of build it based on the picture. See how this bracket overhangs on that one? and that one kind of goes under that one. So that's what I'm gonna do. This is the down piece right here and right there. 
and then that's the over piece. This, I assume, goes onto the wing because that fits perfectly just like that. See there and there, but then I don't know if it goes like that or like that or I don't know. We'll just have to see. I'm just going to start assembling it and we'll figure it out. It'll come together. kind of started to rain so if the audio is a little bit off or a little bit weird I apologize for that but as I'm going through building these brackets the only thing that I can look at is this picture and you see how there's that solid line that goes across there and then that line that goes across there that way both outsides look the same so this is the outside of a bracket that's the inside of a bracket so you see this one with a line running right there that's going to be this one because this is the way that it looks in the picture. So this goes under right there. And so this is an outside bracket, meaning the PCI logo that I got right here is going to be going on the outside right here. And then this is the inside bracket, or if I turn it around, it's gonna look the exact same. And then also, I want all of the nuts to point to the inside. So this is the inside of the bracket with all the nuts. This is the outside of the bracket with all the bolts. And then also, right here, you gotta mount these on the outsides of the uprights. So these go here, and then there's also all kinds of adjustments to where you can adjust the angle of the wing. But I'm gonna mess with that as we put it on the car after the fact. And then also right here, this is you looking at it through the top of the wing. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure and make sure this is roughly 23 inches to make sure I put all these brackets in the right direction. And this is kind of simple, kind of straightforward. It's just a matter of following directions, looking at a picture and then building it in real life. It's very straightforward. So the next thing that I gotta do or the next thing that I wanna do is I wanna mount the uprights onto the wing and then maybe throw it on the car, make sure it fits, make sure there's nothing in the way. And then we'll figure out where exactly I wanna mount it to the car and how exactly I wanna mount it to the car. There's gonna be two holes here, two holes there, and then it mounts to the roof here and here. Somewhere in that area, we're gonna have to find dead center and maybe I'll use the wing light as a reference point to make sure and that's just gonna be a little bit of measuring, a little drawing, a little figuring, and we're just gonna keep it moving. Choose your fighter. So with this kit, one thing that was a little bit unclear to me was the way that these brackets go. I didn't know if this was supposed to cup it and catch it on that side over here, but it did say that this should be folding towards the outside. So I know that this over here is the outside, but again, I didn't know if this should have been on this side of it or over here on that side of it. So same with that, because it's a little bit hard to tell with the pictures, but what I do see is that it says from here to there, or from here to there is supposed to be 23 inches. And then if we look like that, 23 inches, we are dead on, we are perfect. So it looks like I did everything right. First time, that's a miracle. So the next thing I gotta do, just as it's mocked up, everything's kinda loose. I wanna throw it on the car and kinda get a good idea of how that's gonna look. And I'm gonna wanna use some tape just for mock-up purposes, but before I actually attempt to try to put tape on this car, I wanna clean the paint up a little bit because it has been sitting outside for about a year and some change. Thing, looking at it right off the bat one thing that I could see as maybe being an issue just depending on how we have it centered this might be in the way 
So this bracket, I might turn it to the inside, and then the same with this one just to match. Depending on how the measurements are, we wanna make sure it's centered from here to there, and from here to there, and then also I'm gonna measure, find the center point of the wing, make sure it's centered with the tail light. But just looking at it, first look, look number one, it is big, it's the big wing gang. It's pretty crazy, pretty wild. It's not exactly straight right now, but we are getting there. It is definitely big. And then when the little side pieces go on, it's going to look that much better. So now actually what I just did is I wanted to find the center point right here. So this is how I have it labeled. It says black area. So the entire wing from left side to right side or from that edge to that edge it's 58 and three quarters, so I needed to find the middle point. So 58 and three quarters, I turned it to 58.75, and that divided by two is 29.375, or 29 and three eighths, because three fourths becomes six eighths, half of six eighths is three eighths, and 29 is half of 58. So all in all, blah, 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 math time. So I measured from here to there, just to double check, and then from here, to there and both are in fact 29 and 3 eighths. So now that's my center point over there. And then the car, I didn't do much measurement but I used a whole bunch of reference points. For example, the center of the badge right here, there's this little trunk thing right here and the center of the light right there. So that's the center line, that's what I'm going with. And also that's centered between here and there. So aesthetically, that's gonna look good. I just have to make sure the center of the wing is lined up with the center right there as I'm standing back perfectly looking at the car, nice and square. And then I'm gonna check twice, check three times, check four times, and then that should be good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and mock up the wing. Hopefully everything's gonna be centered and then we'll get those mounting tabs drilled in. So with this setup, how I'm going to install it and how I wanted to install it is a little bit different. How I wanted to install it is I wanted to just use some rib nuts and that's what I have back here and then there. But after thinking about it, I don't know if rib nuts are going to be strong enough because they only grab on the top layer. So what I'm actually going to do, the kit did come with these bolts and I don't know if you can see it, there's multiple layers of metal. There's multiple layers of metal that the nut and bolt is gonna be going through. So the top is gonna to be nut and bolts, the bottom is gonna be rib nuts, and the bottom, I don't feel like it has to be as strong as the top, and it's still gonna be plenty strong enough. These aren't gonna go anywhere, but the top being the nuts, the top being the bolts, and that going through two layers of metal, one the skin layer and another structural layer, I think that's a lot better. So the final step is, for this video and for this install, this is gonna be about it. I just gotta bolt it up, and then I kinda wanna mess with the adjustments of the wing so that way we can see how we like it. And I also gotta put the side pieces on, and then we'll be wrapping this thing up. gang bolted and secured here's how it's looking I mean this thing is solid this thing is sturdy now one thing that was kind of challenging for me just being here by myself is I had to hold these up top I just had to kind of jam a wrench in here and have it angle off this way and pinch itself and then underneath that's where I went ahead and I tightened the nut and getting out and in out and in every single time and it's not just four times because the wrench falls off and that's just how it goes but either way it is all good and we got it figured out now one thing that I want to do I think that it looks kind of funny it's angled up too high and as you can see right here 
there's all of these settings. So this, you just gotta loosen that a little bit and then you can put it into a different setting on both of them. So I might just bring it to the middle setting so that way it looks a little better. Like I said, I think it's just kind of crazy right now the way that it's pointing upwards. So I'm gonna adjust that setting just a little bit and then I gotta put those sideways base plates on or the end plates, whatever you wanna call those. And then also those little PCI logo things. I gotta put those there and there. And then this thing will be official, official Wang Gang. Officially part of the big wang gang Man, so I think this car really is coming together like I said at the end of the last video any of these parts by themselves I'm not a huge fan of but the more and more we get going with more and more aero parts and just track style parts and Battle parts in general. I think it is looking better and better big wang Got the side skirts both by PCI Got the PCI wing, PCI side skirts, and everything is looking good. So now for this install, one thing that I don't like about it, if I had to pick a thing, and it's something that I might address in the near future, is I know that this is a track part, I understand that. But the hatch and the glass, none of this can open up. It's completely impossible. If this is bolted on, it will not and cannot open up. So I'm thinking, if I take this bolt out, and then this one down here, and then this one over here, and then this bolt right there, and then I replace it for a rod, very similar to the rod that goes through your little, um, goes through the brake pedal and how it has a hole on the side and you can use a little cotter pin. I would like to swap it out for something like that and then have a little cotter pin on like a little metal string type deal. So that way it's still all nice and tight. Everything's gonna look good. And the key is that rod has to be the exact same thickness as the bolt that's in there. So nothing's loose or anything like that. And also the cotter pin has to make sure it's tight i don't want that rod to kind of wander around it needs to be real snug in there and that way if you want to open it you just pull a pin here pull a pin there and then the entire wing can then pivot up to the roof or down to the ground depending on which one you actually disconnect i'm gonna have to look into it i want to see if they make any rods that are like that and That'll be coming up very soon, but overall, for what it is, again, it's fully tracked. It's meant for a track car or a car that they're not worried about opening up the tailgate. It's a car that they're worried about aero. So, for that sense, it is very good. I am happy with this. I want you to let me know what you think. Coming up in the next video, we are just going to continue with the trend of aero parts. It is going to be, you're gonna to have to subscribe to find out. Make sure you turn on the notification thing, like this video, comment, subscribe, do all the stuff. You know what it is, YouTube. I'll see you on the next one in two days. I'm out.